everybody. Uh, it has been an extremely long time since I have made a YouTube video. It's been over a year. I was dealing with this weird thing where there was just like virus that happens and like the world stopped. Anybody else dealing with that? Yeah, a lot has changed over the past year, but we're not going to talk about that today. Today we're talking about Animal Crossing. I made a video in 2019, believe it or not, called uh, My Opinion on Every Animal Crossing Character. And a lot of the comments that I got in that video um, once New Horizons came out was like, where's Dom? Where's um, Lucas? Is, uh, who? What? <laughs> Who's that? But people didn't realize that like when I made that video, those characters weren't, didn't exist yet. So now that Animal Crossing 2.0 update is coming and there's even more new characters being added to that, I figured I would make an updated video where I talk about the new characters that I have not spoken about. And also maybe some of the ways that my opinions have changed over the past year um, on the characters that I judged in the previous video. Okay, I have them all up on my screen over here and we're gonna get started. I guess I could have put this in alphabetical order, but I'm not going to, so. Do you see that? It tried to get, it tried to hit me. It tried to hit me. Back off. CJ, a beaver. He's wearing camo shorts and I don't know how to feel about that. Flick. Flick is cool as hell. So my problem with Flick, I like that I said Flick is cool as hell and here's my problem, is that I don't think his personality matches the way he looks. I want him to be like way more punk rock, I guess, but whatever. I like that his net is like, he has like a studded net, which is so, there's no reason for that. It's completely unnecessary. Daisy May, listen, the snot bubble hanging from her nose, it, it's not cute, it's gross. It's disgusting. This, what's, what, does she have allergies? Can somebody help Daisy May? Other than that, she's extremely cute. I do miss some of the old characters that these are based off of. Like I do, I wanna see Joan. Imagine if we could see Joan and Daisy May together, like Joan visits Daisy. <gasps> that would be really cute. But either way, um, she is great. Someone just needs to wipe her nose. I'm getting like um, Cats, what's her name in Cats vibe? Someone get her a tissue. Orville, Orville, Orville. I do think it's really cute that the flight service is a dodo bird that's a cute idea we've all noticed that like that's funny because dodo birds can't fly or do they also not exist anymore oh wait i forgot um but he's fine he's got dumb eyebrows wilbur just just the other one but with cool sunglasses which makes him better okay i put gulliver on here even though he's literally this <laughs> he's just gulliver but he's not a different person right wait is he a different person the player initially confuses him for gulliver i thought gulliver was just gulliver with a funny outfit Oh, I've been playing this game for a year. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, he's great. Audie. So I didn't talk about her in my last video because she didn't exist yet. Um, love her. Super cute. Love the love a winged liner. And I love the story behind her that she's based on the character, not the character, the person. Some believe that her English name comes from the game designer Paul Huben's grandmother, Audrey Bouchanan, who logged over 3,500 hours in New Leaf and had the player name Audie. I like to believe that. That that works for my fantasy. Sid. I don't know. I don't know about Sid. I don't know. Dom is a perfect character. A perfect character in Animal Crossing. Like, has quickly become one of my favorite characters. Very upset that I do not have him in my, my village. My village? My island. Um, He's incredible. Literally every face that they gave him is adorable. The one mistake they made was making him a jock. That's all I'm saying. And when he makes this face, like, you know that one? Or it's like... I'm gonna regret posting this. Judy! Judy has a lot going on. I feel like Judy is not the typical kind of character that you would find in Animal Crossing. It's kind of like when Pokemon started making characters that look like Digimon. That's sort of the vibe that I'm getting from her. It's like this character was made for me. The sparkly eyes, the blue and the pink, the, those things. Megan's cute. Megan looks like she works at a food cart in Portland. Um, period. And that's on Portland. All right, Raymond, here we go. Listen, listen. Raymond, what the hell was all of that? That was crazy. The the Raymond of it all. Raymond to me is like the onceler of Animal Crossing. Raymond to me is like the Benedict Cumberbatch of Animal Crossing. Raymond to me is like the Timothy Chalamet of Animal Crossing. I think he looks cool. The glad he's a little businessman. He's got the cool, uh, you know, hetero, hetero, hetero? Heterochromia words science but like that was crazy everything that everyone did to get this character was insane you're all you're all insane renee i like the name nay like a horse she's got some cool makeup going on over here oh she's got like is is her hair like um shaved on the side is that what that is? <gasps> 
very cool. We love an asymmetrical hairstyle. Sherb. Oh my god. Sher oh, Sherb. Hold on a second. Hi, Sherb. My friends Zach and Aubrey got this for me for Christmas last year, I think. It's really easy to mess up the face on Sherb. Like, his. now that I'm looking at a picture of him, his eyes should be way bigger on this thing, but I'm just gonna pretend that it's not. Sherb is also a uh, perfect character, like, absolute perfect addition to the game. I have nothing to say except for the fact that he's perfect, beautiful. Someone told him um, that he was hot, sexy, fly, and they were true. What? Hello? Oh my god, can we talk about Sasha? Um, I'm getting Sasha in my village. I don't care what I have to do to, to do it. Oh no, Sasha's gonna be the new Raymond. First of all, the fact that Sasha is a boy. Love this. Let's break down the gender binary. They made one mistake by putting him in this horrible Letterman jacket. Like, he is too good for a Letterman jacket. Don't care. What is his... He's a lazy character. He's not even a jock character. What are they do? What are they doing? Get rid... Get, get rid of that. The second I get this character, we're swapping out... We're swapping out the um, Letterman jacket for something else. Now, I can't say this. Ioni. Ioni. Ooh, her phrases gleam. Love that. Yeah. Huge fan. I, maybe I'll want this character too. I don't know. But yeah, I love stuff like this where it's like, we're, you know, we're just going to put a whole freaking constellation on her and just call it a day. Uh, Tian Sheng. I love that he's based off of what, like a monk, like a monkey king. You know, that monkey. His initial phrase is woo woo. I thought it was ooh woo for a second. My God. <laughs> Shino. Oh my God. Everyone lost their minds for Shino as well. Uh, Shino. Yes. Come on, horns. Her, <laughs> her initial phrase is okay. <laughs> She's fantastic. I cannot wait to have her in my town because I'm going to get her too. Marlo. Okay, a lot of people like Marlo. I'm not not feeling it. I don't I don't need a mob boss hamster in my town like something about that doesn't sit right with me. Oh my god, his initial phrase is gabish. <laughs> wait a second. Okay, hold on a second. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Petrie. Petrie? Petrie. I love like the th the um the 3D lenses ears i also love that that she's like a lab rat get it it's kind of dark when you think about it C cephalo Ceph cephalobot what the f what the f no 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 absolutely not we've had we have three perfect octopus characters and then they decided to do this and i don't understand you know what i have a feeling my mind's gonna change if i ever get this character in my town but like i'm spooked out by this thing i am it this is spooky okay Ooky spooky, no thank you. Quinn. No, I don't know. I don't think there's enough here for me to work with, to be honest. Wardle, which is based on Wendell. Or I'm gonna say it's Wardle, it's Wendell's like nephew or something. I kind of feel like I look like him. Do I look like him? Oh, maybe I'm not, I'm not chubby enough. We're getting there. But yeah, he's a, jo he's a little jolly character. I bet he's adorable. It's just like the snout thing that's like freaking me out for some reason. There's Nico, which is the monkey. Okay, listen. Listen, I know, listen, I'm not trying to be this person, but I'm, everyone is losing their absolute minds over this monkey. I get like DreamWorks character vibes from this monkey. Like, I feel like he's, he's going to make a face like this, like that. He's, I'm Nico. Um, I'm including this. It's Lloyd with a mustache. <laughs> You know, I think the mustache adds a lot. I'm a fan. And then I want to talk about a couple characters. First of all, can I apologize profusely? Because in that video I made in 2019, I, th I thought that I got every character. And the one character that I missed was Digby, which is Isabel's brother, who is nowhere to be seen in this game, um, who is once again a perfect character. I think he's wonderful. I think he's adorable. When in New Leaf, when it's raining outside and he's standing there in his little cute raincoat, I wish they would make like a Nendoroid of him or something, but in the raincoat. Oh my god, I would lose my mind. But actually, there were a lot of people who left comments on the video like, you missed this person, you missed this person. All I was like just responding with time codes like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. You weren't listening. That was the one character that I actually did miss, and I do feel bad about that. So, sorry, Digby. Digby? Rigby. Digby? And then I also wanted to apologize for one more villager who I fully shat all over um, in that video, and that is Cherry. I am so sorry. I feel like it was almost homophobic of me. Cherry has now become one of my favorite villagers, and um, I have nothing but regret for what I said about her. She's super cool. Um, I am absolutely, like, I ship her with Gale for some reason. I love, like, the goth girlfriend, you know, that sort of, this sort of thing going on. Actually, what I'm gonna do is put up on the screen, I did a, I did a thing recently, 
I did a little quiz thing to see who my favorite villagers were. So that's gonna go here. So these are them, and that does not include the new ones that are coming in 2.0. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks everyone who watched my previous Animal Crossing video because it has now has like 1.6 million views, which is completely insane. I was gonna say one other thing. Oh, I've been streaming on Twitch pretty regularly. I try to do it near the end of the week, at least once or twice a week. So like maybe like a Friday and a Saturday or something like that. So follow me, twitch.tv slash johnmanplays. Um, I will be streaming Animal Crossing on there. For October, I did a ton of um, Resident Evil, but I'm done with that now. We're done. It's not spooky ooky season anymore. It's time for cozy cutesy, and that's Animal Crossing. How are you all doing? Leave a comment telling me uh, what you think about the 2.0 update. Like, what are you most looking forward to? I personally am looking forward to cooking, which I called, which I called in a video in 2019. I said, I think there will be cooking in this game. I said it. I said it. Just saying. Just saying. I'm psychic. Nintendo now owes me royalties for giving them that idea. Yeah, I guess that's it. Cool. Um, I would really love to continue making videos. They're not all going to be Animal Crossing videos, but they might be like video game related for the most part. I don't know. That's sort of what I, what my, what I'm feeling right now in my life. Thanks for watching. Hopefully my next video won't be in another year and I'll see you guys later. Bye.